All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays back from Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. So today, guys, I'm so excited to be bringing you another brand new mod showcase. This is going to be the Goku Ultimate Form Transformation Showcase. Holy shit, this is edgy as hell. He's battle damaged. He's ready to go. And if we can show off that stance from the actual poster, I think he does it whenever you flip him around. Hold up, hold up. Let me see those arms down. There we go. Oh, my God, it looks just like it. So I'm going to show you guys a picture of what the poster looks like. I don't know if it's a promo or whatever. But nobody knows what this form is going to look like. It was showcased a little bit. We got a taste of it, a little hint in the intro of Dragon Ball Super or the opening number two. And he's fighting Jiren the Grey, which we got that man right here. Shout outs to JWP for that model. And shout outs to Silver Striker for making this sick ass mod. All credit goes to him for just creating the texture and design and everything. Overall, this looks amazing. Even his hair, as you can see. Look at that hair. See that one strand that kind of sticks out? It's very reminiscent of the poster, and he's got like this cut on his face. You know, it's a unique design. I really like it. Battle damage on his like clothing and everything. This dude, he's about to get fucked up, and he's going to fuck some shit up in the anime. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. So before we get started, guys, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Let's try to reach 15 likes on this video. That'd be amazing, and I really appreciate it. Plus, it shows that you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 content on this channel, as well as a continuation of the mod series. So, I want to actually recap some of what happened in, I guess, the last episode, like 101 or something like that. But we'll get into that later th on throughout the video. So, we got Super Dragon Fist, Burst Kamehameha, Wild Hunt, Max Charge, you know I love that. Uh, Multi Warp, Angry Kamehameha, that's a long ass title for a move. Uh, we also have Angry Kamehameha, of course, because he's going to be in full on rage mode. And then we have Super Explosive Wave and Kaioken, which goes up to times 20. Really excited to use that. That'll showcase his full on just power and the effect of this new transformation or whatever. It might not even be a new form. It just could be like a rage, like powerful mode or some shit. But the Super Souls, I wanted to kill you with my own hands. Goku, he's been known to be pretty, uh, pretty kind hearted, light hearted. But this form of his is going to be ruthless. More ruthless than the initial Super Saiyan transformation that we got back in the original anime. So we're going to do this shit. I'm going to shut the hell up. You guys are probably like, this dude talks way too much. And you're 100% right. So we're going to fight Jiren here. And we're going to showcase this in the best way possible. Uh, there is a World Tournament of Power stage that goes over Kami's Lookout. And I installed it. Unfortunately, it glitches the fuck out. And it looks awful. And it's messed up. I don't know what's wrong with it at this moment. But we'll try and uh, see if you know it gets fixed. And that way we can showcase another video with that mod. So for now, I guess we can either go to the World Tournament or the Nameless Planet. I think this would be the best and most optimal area. Just because it's the closest thing that we can get to. To the Tournament of Power. But yeah, I don't know what is happening in this anime right now. Like, there's just so much shit. Freaking uh, Kale. Oh shit, look at this dude. Look at the transformation. It looks so sick. Kale, she's actually... Um, finally mastered her super saiyan berserk ability and her rage form and everything so we kind of saw she had her initial super saiyan form where you know she doesn't have like the wide out of eyes and i'm getting fucked up by jiren yo chill bro what the fuck i can't even instant transmit anywhere what the hell is this guy doing okay his model is actually fucking nutty bears bro get the hell out of here what is this crap jiren is a bitch man mm. yeah that's right oh, i got your shit come on I got this. I don't even know what the, like, <laughs> transformation or base of this form is supposed to be over. Okay, what is happening? I don't know what the hell is going on. So, yeah, uh, as I was saying, it was crazy. Uh, she, you know, you know, finally transformed. And I'm glad that, you know, she was able to master everything. That way she could probably contribute to, uh, I guess, the entire uh, tournament or something. But we got that times 20 Kamehameha. I'm going to use burst Kamehameha here because I got to kill this motherfucker. He's going to kill me. He's gonna kill me. Oh shit. Oh, warp command, man. Let's go. Okay. Big damage. I don't know what that was. You used some of, like, Cell's fucking burst attack or something like that. But yeah, what what do you guys think about the anime so far? I want to know your opinions. Comment down below. Uh, tell me what you're liking about it. Tell me what could be improved over this, you know, entire anime series and everything. And I know it's like, don't give me the feedback. You want to give Toei Animation the feedback. But I just like to know your uh, initial like take on everything so far so this form it definitely is super unique it's not just your normal goku he does a shit ton of damage his stats are off the fucking charts oh my god what the hell this move right here that looks like the uh, one that's like that burst fucking blaster or some shit oh my god can we actually win this please i just would like to win with an angry kamehameha wave let's go okay he just blocked all that shit whoa kamehameha <laughs> holy shit dude Let's go. Look at this form. It's so OP. I love how he's got the blood stains and fucking scrapes all over him. 
this truly is going to be a sick episode whenever he actually transforms and everything. Like, I want to get that same feeling, man. I want to get that same feeling. So, we're going to do one more match this time, and let's fight, uh, you know what? Let's fight Vegeta. I know that sounds weird, but just for the hell of it, we'll fight, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. I don't know if they're actually going to fight in the anime. That'd be cool if, like, you know, it was just the two of them left and they did another Majin Vegeta versus Goku or some shit. That'd be so sick. But, uh, I guess we'll go to... Where do they always fight? It's always the mountains. The mountainous area, this is like their battlefield. You already know it. So, one thing that really stood out about uh, last episode was the fact that we haven't seen a true, 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 like, you know, I guess legitimate transformation for a Super Saiyan. And when I mean by a legitimate transformation, nothing where it's like, okay, I'm just going to transform, like, Caulifla. Hers was just, okay, tingly shit on my back, let's go. I got this. This one was more of... You know, almost a death, almost like a caring sort of, you know, transformation that we usually have in Dragon Ball Z, you know, where, I guess, uh, Android 16 dies and Gohan, Super Saiyan 2, like, let's go. And then uh, Krillin dies, Frieza, and all that shit. You know, you know how that goes with the Super Saiyan transformations, and when future Gohan died, uh, I think my boy, my boy Trunks, the coolest, the sickest transformation of all, he went in hardcore, so what can I use here? Let's use Super Explosive Wave. Holy shit, that alone does so much damage. Let's just wild hunt now. Oh, fuck. But yeah, um, you know, Kale, she went and transformed because she thought she was going to lose her best friend, her sis, in a way. And I don't know what the relationship is in this freaking series. Uh, it's a little bit weird, but we're going to finish this off with an angry Kamehameha. <laughs> that looks so sick. But yeah, their relationship is very strange. Um, I know... You know, Kale, she really likes uh, Cauliflug. Like, she really, really adores her to the point where it's a little bit creepy. You know, no hate. Hey, if, that, if that's what they like in the series, that they can do that. That's entirely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, you know, it. it's kind of uh, awkward whenever the series is ongoing and it's just, like, happening like that. But, you know, she saw that she was almost going to, like, pretty much fucking die against the Pride Troopers, and then transformed, and she was crying and all that shit, and it just looked super epic. So, there you go, there's Goku's ultimate form versus Jiren the Grey. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna see that exact same matchup in the anime, and I'm just excited for it. Let me know what you guys think of this mod. Shoutouts again to Silver Striker and JWP for the Jiren mod, and you know, this one alone is just so fucking sick. It looks so badass. So, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.